Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome back to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Smile to Jannah. There is a very unique story that has been extensively reported in the Indian media and it's been picked up by other world medias and it is of the superstar actor of Bollywood Amir Khan and it goes something like this. Late in the evening Amir Khan sent a truck to Delhi which was filled with packets of flour. Yeah, There were about a kilo each. Unknown to the people he had put in each bag of flour 15,000 rupees. Now what he did was he sent the truck there quite late in the evening and he deliberately made sure that the bags were relatively small. So the people who didn't desperately need it, they didn't bother queuing up for this tiny dinky little bag but the people who were desperate, you know that saying every little helps. So for them they queued up. So lo and behold what happened when they got home, when they started cooking, they opened the bag, whoa 15,000 rupees and for a poor person, boy this is a lifesaver. Now this is such a unique, clever, creative way to ensure that the money reaches the people who actually deserve it. Now there is an unverified clip circulating on social media that is claiming that yo it was Amir Khan and that on top of the people in the area are somewhat used to such creative forms of charity being linked to Amir Khan. That's why a lot of people are speculating that it has to be him. Now how do you get something like this confirmed? The person himself has to admit it or his own people. And Amir Khan is not known to put his charity ventures on social media. But regardless of whoever it was, the event definitely took place about a week ago and it doesn't take away from how creative it is. And it does definitely remind me of the Quran verse, if you disclose your charity it is well, yeah. But if you conceal them and give them to the poor it is better for you. Now don't get it twisted because a few verses ahead Allah also talks of those people that give it in public as well because you do need to give it in public to encourage other people to do the same. So I guess it depends on the situation. Now in this day and age this is incredibly inspirational and a breath of fresh air to be honest because we're living in a society full of narcissism. Yeah, iPhone, iPad, iMovie, I, me, mate, me, selfie. Yeah, so fee of me, frankly. Boss. So to see a major actor in Bollywood doing stuff that frankly we hear from stories of the companions of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And boy, the companions of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam were in a different league. Yeah, why? Because they had seen the blessed face of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Just imagine the best of creation there in front of you. They would see him daily. They would hear the Quran from the mouth of the individual whose heart it was revealed to, recited in the purest and the most perfect of forms. They would pray behind Allah's beloved. And who can imagine the feeling of ecstasy and the closeness of Allah that they could feel when praying behind the leader, the leader of all the prophets. Boy, is there any wonder why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Radiallahu anhum wa radu an. Allah is pleased with them and they are pleased with him. But yeah, let me give you guys a, a few instances. Aisha radiallahu anha, uh, she would give 70,000 away in charity and yet she would have to sew patches on the side of a garment. In other words, she wouldn't spend on herself. Whatever she had, she would make do with that. And it's said of Ibn Umar radiallahu anha that he would distribute 30,000 in one sitting. And then there would come upon him a month in which he would not find a small piece of meat to eat. 
Another instance is that of Saad ibn Ubada radiallahu an, who would return home each night to his family with 80 individuals from Ahl Sufa in order to feed them. And of course it's narrated of the scholars that they would secretly arrange for food and produce to be put on the doorstep of the poor and the poor would be none the wiser. They would only know who would give that food when that particular scholar would pass away. So there you go guys, may Allah make us amongst the people who give in charity. I'll leave it there until next time. Assalamu alaikum.